I hope I proved my point in the video that each man is the same. There is no difference between a white man and a black man. A white man will kick your ass, a black man will kick your ass. It does not matter. What I'm trying to say is before any woman can say one man is better than the next man, she must evaluate herself and find out what kind of man she wants. Because everyone changes. You might be a loving woman in the beginning. Something goes wrong, you're going to change too. Yes, you will. Your, your likes and your dislikes might change during the course of that relationship. What I wanted to prove and point out is this whenever people get in an argument what's the most hurtful thing can be said and when two people of the opposite color get into it it's different the dynamics change because this person is the person that's supposed to love you and care for you why is he calling you all these demeaning things based on your race that is what I was trying to point out and sister if you are one can you see what I'm trying to say can you feel what I'm saying now? If you're being called a bitch by your man, and you know, you know, and you're arguing and fighting with him because he called you a bitch, but if you're with a white man and he calls you a black bitch, what is the difference? The difference is you just couldn't call me a regular bitch. You had to put point out the fact that I'm black, and they do that. I've seen it done, and you know, it's like I don't care. Matter of fact. I was with this white chick. She tried to drop the M-bomb on me. Stupid nigga. Well, I'm a stupid nigga because I'm with your fat, ugly, white ass. I guess I was stupid. And another thing. Not all the sisters that hook up with these white cats are super cool, fine looking either. They get younger. They, they looked a little bit better kept than some of the ones I've seen. But I know some white dudes with some scraggly looking sisters. And I know some white dudes with some fine looking sisters, slim down, looking all pretty and shit. They don't have to call their women bitches and hoes because they're not that kind of man to start with. But I'm trying to point out something. Before you can say one person is better than the other or this man suits this woman better, understand yourself first. Understand the damage that you're doing by undermining your future. And what do I mean by your future? You might be a great person, you might go out and do all your dating and go out to these people, that people, whatever people, it does not matter. But there is going to come a time in life where the only person that can communicate with you in a manner that's best understood is the one that's most likely like you. And in saying that, that doesn't necessarily mean the colors have to match. Just the other intangibles around the color. But in my experience, because I can only speak from my perspective, I have seen it go bad on both sides of the fence. You stupid white bitch, you dumb nigger. I've seen it. I've mediated some of these battles between the races. So please, you know, when you tell me to explain myself, it's self-explanatory. I have lots of white friends that over the last few weeks don't agree with me. And I can understand why, because from their perspective, I'm not the person that they thought I was. From their perspective, I'm not the man that they grew to know. See, when you don't show that you've noticed certain things about a, a race of people, when you don't talk about those things, it's all fine and dandy. But as you begin to speak and open up your mind and open up that dialogue that I'm trying to get everybody to open up before we're all rounded up and branded and sold off again, it's this. Know who you are before you try to know who someone else is. Take yourself on a trip somewhere to find out who the fuck you really are before you can say this is who I am. Everybody must go on this journey to find out the truth. The journey is travel a little bit less if the whole bunch of people get on the same ride to find the truth at the same time. So just because I commented on some chick talk about mm, the sex is better with a white guy, fine. The sex is better with a white guy because probably not too many other people of any sense of want to fuck with you. Now, you might have 
great sex with a, a Mexican, great sex with an Italian, great sex with another black person, great sex with a female. So if you if you go have great sex with a a, a, a black female, is she gonna be better than the mm, the white guy? Ooh. So think about everything you say, because sex is just a function. Sex is like eating. Everybody eats, and even a little child will grow up to have sex. Sex is a function a function. Animals have sex for the sole function of reproducing. Humans have sex for joy, for fulfillment, for physical gratification. Sex is not used as a tool it was supposed to be used for. We're only supposed to have sex to reproduce, not to have fun. Think about it. And with the way things are going today, people are not having sex. I understand what I'm saying. They're not having sex to reproduce. They're having sex just for the thrill of sex. So, like I said, if you come at a man like that and you just a piece of ass, he gonna treat you like a piece of ass. If He's white, and he, all he wants is a piece of black ass. He gonna treat you like a piece of ass. If he's black, and he wants a piece of white ass, he just gonna treat you like a piece of ass. Don't get me wrong. In the beginning, it's always love and flowers. That beautiful saying, that beautiful thought, that beautiful experience. Oh, he's coming to see me. Oh, she's coming over. And you go through your every day waiting for that person to come give you sexual gratification. For what? What? I can't hear you. Sex for what? What are you getting in return for your sex? A couple of cheeseburgers, maybe a, a red lobster dinner once a month. What, what are you actually getting for the sex? You getting paid? Then you're a hoe. But I can't call you a hoe. I don't know you. That's disrespectful. I think that was you I saw sitting on that couch or whatever. Talking about how great this other guy is or whatever. I don't know. You don't look like an ugly black woman at all to me. But... Apparently, some black men have rubbed you wrong. Are you seeing the wrong in black men? Don't don't throw your life away saying, "Oh, I'm done. I'll never hook up with them." Cause sex with a white guy's. Mm -hmm. See, I thought sex with a white woman was all that. Ooh, so different. Whoa. I'm 40 years old. The older you get, the more data is filed in your mental computer. I'm at the point now I can look at a woman and tell exactly what she looks like without any clothes on. I'm at the point where it's 85% of the time I can look at a woman and tell exactly what she's thinking most of the time based on the situation that's going on around us. I'm at the point where my combined knowledge guides me in a direction through all this bullshit and that's why I got one woman that's why I stopped fucking with hoes and bitches and, and people want to hook up with me it's because all this shit we do all of the shit we say all of the actions we take are based on one premise our state of mind so if you find a white man that makes your brain feel good by all means, try to keep your brain in that spot. Don't fuck that up by being minuscule in your thoughts. And maybe you do have true love. Good for you. I hope you keep it. And until then, you've been tubed.